Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you the completed journal that I made during the YouTube Live on April the 8th. It is a fabric cover that has a Midori style to it so that it can hold journal inserts, and it is a cover that is nine by six with a one and a quarter inch spine. The inside cover is some mulberry uh, cardstock that I had. This is one of my gel prints that Norella embellished digitally, and that's part of the Royal Peacock kit. So in the first journal, so I'll just kind of show you that this is a journal that can come out, so it's a Midori style here, is the printed kit with the Royal Peacock that's available in my shop. And I made a altered paper clip pen that fits right inside here so that you have a pen handy and I have a tutorial that shows how I made this. This was a piece of vellum that I printed but the other half didn't turn out right so we ended up washi taping it to the page. So I just like the way that looks. It gives you some additional writing space underneath it and you get to see the pretty image. This is one of the pieces that's in the fussy cut items and I use the stencil for the Royal Peacock and the Bella, no, the Royal Gold. I keep saying Bella because I had a Bella kit. <laughs> so that fits here. This is one of the pages that comes with the kit in the subscription box and I took the journal apart and then made it into one of the pages for the journal here scraps and using a white space by spraying on a journal card to get that and some of the fussy cut items. This is a stamp that's in my shop. There's a set of four of them. It's one of the planner pages. That's also a option that you can purchase in my shop. You can purchase this as a digital download or a physically printed item. This is another altered paper clip. I decided that it was just kind of cute to have it over the page like this. Another gel print that I turned into a pocket. And this was some paper that Tammy from My World and OKC sent to me that was coffee dyed. I think it was coffee or tea, I'm not sure. Some more stencils and then this is another stamp that I have in my shop that's part of, what is it, Feathered Friends. Another little page that I made, so this is a book page that I attached these two little pieces of paper that I had used my stencil and the shabby stitches around. And then again, we use the stencil here. And then here is a journaling card on this side with a scrap of a gel print on the edge. Same on this side. And then here is a journaling card. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this. There's a crown stamp that's in my shop as well. This was a washi tape that someone sent to me. I love the fussy cut items that come in this kit and I even added, I don't know if you can see it on camera, some glitter so it kind of shimmers just a little bit. It's really pretty. I made a journal card with a flat pocket so you have space to write here and here it holds a little journal card so you can slide it behind the belly band. More journaling cards. And that's the first journal. And then this is the second journal. This cover I printed, but when it's professionally printed, it has this glossy look to it. And it is the subscription box cover of the journal that you get in that kit. And so that's what it looks like on both sides. And then again, this is some of the printed kit. Some more journaling cards. I did the same thing with this, kind of putting as a tuck spot, belly band using the scraps and stamping on them. It's one of the tags that comes in the kit. Skipped a page by accident. Another one of the journaling planner pages. This is new that we're doing with all of our kits. Norella is creating little word searches so it's a nice size journaling card and it's just kind of fun. Same type of center of the journal that I made on the other journal. 
This is normally a pocket, but I cut off the flaps that would enclose it, and I thought that would be a pretty little journaling card. Or could even turn it into a mini journal. Another journaling card here. This is from the Spring Peacock kit, and I was had it left over, so I thought it would go well with this kit. And that is the second journal. So here is the third journal. This was made with the printed kit from the Royal Peacock. Again, I added some glitter wherever I could, here and there. I love the way this journal turned out. I love the colors. I love the texture that I feel whenever I'm touching like the pages that I sewed upon. I don't know. This really makes me happy. All the beautiful colors using this Tattered Angels to make the stencil pages. Some of my gel prints that I use. I scanned in a bunch of gel prints and sent them to Norella and then she used them as part of the elements in the kit. Like even this background is one of my gel prints. And I think we just work well together. She does some beautiful stuff. I'm using even just a few things of mine. So it just turned out gorgeous, I think. And that is the third one. And like I said, it is a Midori style cover. And I showed on the live stream how to dye the Snug Hug Seam Binding to match the journal. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Every Monday at 3.45 p.m. and Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I have a live video where I show how to make a journal, do mixed media, it depends on the day. And you're welcome to come and join because I have free prizes that I give away. And if you donate during the live stream, you could win a journal just like this journal journal is going to its new home really soon. Look out for my 10,000 subscriber updates because when I get there I'm going to have some fabulous prizes that you will want like a Misty among many other prizes. Check out the description box to links to my Facebook groups as well as my website and blog. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I love answering your questions and hopefully I'll see you at the next live stream. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.